welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to configure email notifications for specific email addresses in gmail let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on gmail i need you to click on the create an account option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go configuring email notifications for specific email addresses in gmail allows you to manage your inbox more effectively and ensure that important messages don't get lost in the shuffle because for one all right um you can get instant notifications from from for emails from critical contacts such as your boss maybe some key clients like i do or family members partners your company your colleagues or team collaborators ensuring you don't miss any important messages right it enables quick responses to urgent emails which is especially useful in a fast-paced work environment or for time sensitive matters now for you to be able to configure email notifications for specific email addresses in gmail i need you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon settings or the cog icon settings and then from here you might want to click on the see all settings now what will happen is this is going to be the general settings we will deal with it one by one but for now i need you to go to the you see there's a lot of options that you can configure here for specific email addresses for example you can undo send within like maybe like 10 to 20 or 30 you can show maximum page size you can have a default reply behavior for reply all or reply just once and again if you wanted to for example um for a specific email address you might want to change the uh, font style or text style for example, this you're going to be using the uh, narrow and of course you wanted to have it large. So it's, you know, um, it's customized for your specific email address contact. You might want to change the color from uh, blue. Of course, you can also remove forwarding if you wanted. All right. You can also always display external Im images if you wanted. And now down here, when you go down at the bottom where you say it says desktop notifications if you click on this uh, section it will allow gmail to display pop-up notifications on your desktop when new email messages arrive especially for the uh, specific email address that you wanted to be part of your gmail settings now when you hover down below you see you can click on this um section notify me when any message message arrives in inbox or primary tab you can also click on this important mail notifications on notify you only when an important message arrives in the inbox but i'm gonna make sure that you check these sections off all right now you see the mail notification sounds is also customizable from none from welcome nudge snappy sweet whistle tennis music box tones count treasure piggy box and shrink rates it's up to you maybe let's go for the welcome the default and you can drag the stars between the list, all right? The stars result in the order shown below when you click successively, all right? And from there, obviously, just click on save changes. But you might want to go here on the... Uh... Now, after that, I need you to hover to where it says filters and block addresses. And let's make a, uh, a filter for a specific email that we wanted. For example, this one. I am going to delete this one for now because this is the basically um, email that we are going to use for this video. Now, you can create a new filter so that the email address for a specific um, settings that you wanted for the email notifications can be done here. Just create a new filter. And of course, from here, we need to switch back to the email or this specific email address, which is this email address from my outlook account all i'm gonna do is hover down here i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna copy the emails all right and switch over to the gmail now here all i'm gonna do is we'll paste it here 
Now, anything from AndyGuide at Outlook.com, we will be easily notified because of all these settings that we have chosen, right? Basically, that's how you configure email notifications for a specific email address, which is my other account on the Outlook. Now, let's try it. Now, you don't have to necessarily uh, change all of these settings from here. Just leave it alone. Now, create a filter. Okay. Now, here, you can simply select the changes that you wanted. Of, you can customize all of these. But for now, just skip all of that and check this option that says always mark it as important. This is very, well, basically, this is very critical, all right? And then after that, just create a filter. All right. There you go. Now we need to go to the inbox to make sure that the settings has been successfully applied. All right. Now what I'm going to do is hover to the Outlook again and make a test email. This one, I'm going to send this to the uh, Gmail. And let's see if we can receive it. All right. Now, what happened was, I, as you can see, I've been notifi notified easily from the uh, email that I'm using on the Outlook. Here it is, right? Now, you can get notifications for emails from specific address like the uh, AndyOutlook.com earlier, which is related to security or account verification helping in the early detection or potential fraud now you can always stay updated with notifications from emails related to anything like academic programs conferences grant applications from your um, application you know uh, for sponsorship and a lot more because when you receive notifications for event related emails such as invitations confirmations or updates ensuring you stay informed can manage your schedule effectively like within here as we have received an email from the inbox on outlook.com and of course you can quickly access and respond to communications related to event planning or coordination because custom notifications to suit your specific needs whether for work personal matters or particular projects enhancing your email experience but the thing is if you encounter any problems along the way adjusting and configuring email notifications for a specific email address in gmail you might want to go here instead this is the gmail help center and you can just type in to describe your issue if you can't find an answer just go down below where it says post to the help community and of course, you can hover to the post a question. And from here, just give a short uh, description of your problem. And hopefully, one of the active members of the Gmail community will give you an insight and troubleshooting steps on how to configure email notifications for a specific email addresses in case you encounter any problems. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.